The call follows Internal Revenue Commission's boss Sam Coyne slamming the logging companies for what he described as their pillaging of PNG's forest. Coyne says the companies are guilty of egregious transfer pricing and trans tax evasion and deceptive behavior. According to Coim, logging companies are evading taxes by under-declaring their real incomes and hiding receipts in offshore secrecy jurisdictions. They are also paying very minuscule amounts of payroll tax despite employing a large workforce and draining the government of scarce revenues by claiming large refunds of GST. And IRC is currently auditing 20 foreign-owned logging companies and expects to be laying criminal charges, but there needs to be a better monitoring of the high-risk sector. The PNG Forest Authority must stop aiding and abating logging companies identified by the IRC or the Internal Revenue Commission as defrauding the state and the landowners by evading taxes. If these logging companies are unlawfully evading taxes, then the minister and the Forest Authority must stop them from further accessing new areas to feed their criminal activities. The export of Quila logs were given as an example of the type of transfer pricing logging companies are engaging in. He says when Quila logs are exported from PNG to China, the value declared by the logging company might be just 110 US dollars. However, the logging company is not selling the logs direct to the buyer in China, but to one of its own overseas subsidiaries, often registered in a secrecy haven. The offshore company then pockets the 390 price difference, depriving PNG of taxes and royalties, and allowing the company to constantly claim a loss on its local operations. In 2020, 282,000 cubic meters of quilla logs were exported from PNG, according to export monitoring company SGS. The analysis by IRC is alarming and should not be ignored. PNG FA must stop issuing new licenses, permit extensions, or new permits for these companies. Tanago says if the logging companies were under declaring their value by 390 US dollars, then the total under declaration would have been 110 million US dollars or around 400 million kina. He says that is 400 million kina potentially lost on just one species of log exports in just one year. Total log exports from PNG over the past 20 years total some 60 million cubic meters. If the average price was being underdeclared by just $100 per meter, that would amount to a $6 billion US dollars fraud. If the Forest Authority, the Forest Authority Board, and the Minister do not act on this, then they are simply assisting these loggers and their criminal behaviors as described by the Internal Revenue Commission. Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News.